Nahito Arakawa versus Jorge Linares. Uh, Nahito's coming out of Japan. Jorge Linares used to live in Japan. He actually speaks Japanese. He's been in a lot of fights over there. He stayed there for a while. Uh, he has wins over Rocky Juarez and Jesus Chavez. Um, he has been stopped three times. His uh, recent fight, he got stopped in the second round recently. And before that, he fought DeMarco. And he got it ended up be ending in a stoppage. He, he got cut. He seems to get cut really easily. Um, he was looking amazing in that fight until before the stoppage. Um, the accumulation of punches over the period of the fight messed up his face and he ended up ending in a stoppage. He is fast. He's an amazing technical boxer. He was the rave for the longest time. Uh, everyone was saying how he was going to be the next big thing. He was going to go down as being one of the best fighters ever. He is fast. He is an amazing technical boxer, but... He seems to have a suspect chin. He's been stopped three times. Um, I don't know, man. Um, technically, I think he's the better boxer compared to Nihito. Uh, but Nihito is a relentless pressure fighter. He, he hits hard. Um, he was actually the smaller guy against Omar Figueroa in their recent fight. If you watched it, it was a bloody um, bloody fight, man. Both guys were bleeding all over the place. I think it was a headbutt. Um, at times, Nihito had Omar Figueroa against the ropes. You know, he's an amazing pressure fighter. He's relentless. He hits hard body shots. Uh, he gets right up in their chest and starts throwing body shots. He reminds me a lot of Brandon Rios. Um, man, he just, the blood doesn't stop this guy. He, he's bleeding. He doesn't care, man. He just keeps coming, unlike Jorge Linares. I think he, I believe Jorge Linares took a knee when he was bleeding. I don't know if he, he I don't know if he was hurt or what, but... This guy's like a whole different monster, uh, Nihito, man. Um, he Getting knocked down doesn't discourage this guy. He just keeps coming, man. Um, I think Arakara wins this one, man. I think he wins this one by stoppage. Uh, and another fight I wanted to talk about was uh, the rematch. Juanma versus Ponce de Leon. Um, Ponce de Leon already got knocked out by Juanma in the first round. Back when Juanma was knocking people out first second round you know he was on a winning streak um Juanma hasn't looked himself recently he got stopped by Salido um he's been stopped by um Mikey Garcia um and then you got Ponce de Leon who's been stopped recently by Abner Mares. um they both been stopped before he'd been stopped by of course Juanma um but it looks like in my opinion Ponce de Leon looks like he filled out at the higher weight class. A featherweight better than Juanma. He's a tough uh, boxer, man. I think uh, Ponce de Leon gets his revenge in this. I think he ends up getting a stoppage. And I think he beats Juanma. Um, Juanma just hasn't looked himself recently. I don't think he has it no more. I don't know, man. Um, he, he doesn't look good at the featherweight division. He looked great at bantamweight. But the featherweight... He was good at super bantamweight, but then... The featherweight division, I think it's, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's because moving up or personal problems or whatever, but I think um, Ponce de Leon gets revenge in this one and wins the rematch.